Hey everyone, this is Huff the Dragon. I'm doing a little video here for Design Visionaries. Um, and I wanted to kind of jump into this whole uh, BIM thing, but kind of talk about like some of the stuff about NX that I think would be really cool and potential future applications. Um, so, you know, one of the cool things I've found in NX that I've been kind of playing with lately is this BIM uh, system, which I think it stands for the uh, the building information modeling. Yeah, here it is, building information modeling. And uh, essentially what it does is it kind of speeds up the process of making like building architecture and stuff. And <clears throat> One of the things that perks my interest about this is that, you know, I do a little bit of a uh, game programming on the side and artsy stuff, as you can see. <laughs> um, but, you know, primarily, I think, you know, with the recent addition of being able to export OBJ files from NX has significantly uh, improved the desire to use NX in the game development field. Um, however, you know, as far as some of the other applications on the market, NX is obviously uh, a lot more expensive and cutting edge, but, you know, one of the nice things about what Siemens has tried to do with NX is speed up the productivity of making cool and, you know, awesome designs and speed up the whole engineering process and get you to the market faster. Well. Um, that's kind of what the game development area needs a lot of and you know with the tools that we have available uh, you know making architecture for games is still pretty time-consuming and tedious and you know it would be nice to have a system like this for that kind of thing and so that's kind of what I'm gonna do in this stream is or I should say this video because I'm used to streaming <laughs> um, is actually just like make a building in an X really quickly and get it into like a unity game engine and just try to walk through it and that's another cool thing about using unity is that you know uh, now that you can export OBJs from NX you can bring them into like a game engine and do like a walkthrough demonstration because um, I know they have that VR thing in NX but you know not everybody's gonna be using VR so the next best thing is to throw it into something we can walk around and use and unity is a free engine and it's pretty easy to use there's lots of you know assets and stuff in there so you can get like a basic walkthrough kind of you know game ready thing going and then just throw your model into it so let's just like jump right into it and and try it out so uh what i want to do is just make a quick building and with some doors and windows and maybe some interior rooms and stuff and then we're just going to throw that into unity and try running around inside of it so um let's get cracking so uh, i already have the bim uh application open in an x uh so usually what you would do is you know you would have your little bim template that's set up and you just open a new file and then you want to initialize a project i don't I think I do have to because I already actually clicked this, but you're basically just giving it the uh, the name of the uh, the project, and then you know I think it starts you out with like the grids and levels sections on here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the levels, and we're gonna make like a um, a really quick like just multi-story building. Maybe I don't know like two stories would be fine maybe so i'll just start by adding like a line here and what this is it's like a you're looking at the building from side view you know where your levels are going to be and so i'm just going to draw a quick line like so and this basically just represents my ground floor essentially of the building uh i think i have this in inches so i don't think this matters too much but I noticed, you know, making this a little bigger helps with the scale. If you're going to be making a large building, you kind of want to make your ground floor line like really big. But let's see, we'll just do like a hundred feet for now. We're not going to make like a crazy huge building, but uh, this will at least let my zoom be in a rough, good area to make something good. So let's hit a hundred feet. We'll say yes to scale it. Sure. And then uh, that's pretty much that for that portion of it. 
So you see how it kind of snapped and scaled out and now I've got this big giant ground area to work with. Um, and then the next thing I wanna do is actually make a second level um, because when I start putting walls and stuff in, it basically just tries to auto snap the walls up to the next floor. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the next level in here. And uh, this would be, uh, let's see, up here, I don't know how high my ceiling's gonna be, maybe like, I don't know, 12 feet or so. So we'll just click there and there, grab this and hit 12 feet. Let's say it's, you know, 12 foot tall ceiling. <clears throat> Finish that. Okay, now I've got like a, a secondary level. Um, and now I can start just getting right into like making a building. So if I was making like a, a building for a game or something, um, you know, I, I might already have a floor plan laid out in like maybe on a sketch or uh, something that I did in, you know, some other drawing application, just a, kind of a concept thing. Um, so let me go ahead and pick the ground floor here. I think it's already selected. Hit OK. And what I'm going to do is just draw out like a quick outline of the general shape of the building. So, you know, if this was like one of those weird horror games and you have to go through a big house, we might want to like a big one with lots of like weird rooms and secret areas and stuff like that. So maybe I might make it like weird. I might, maybe I'll have like a kitty corner area over here on the house with some windows facing like angular. Uh, let's do that. We'll go. And maybe I want like another area out here for like a garage maybe. Or it could be like a whole other wing of the house. In fact, let's make it kind of big. Let's just make like this and then it'll go into a garage. So maybe there's like a den or something in between the garage and the and the uh, main house here. So actually just snap over like that. Boom, boom. And you know, it, from top view, it looks like I'm just making like a doom map or something, you know? Really old school style, like map looking thing. There we go. And then uh, nice thing is I, you know, I have all the sketcher constraints here, so I could just, you know, click a couple of these and say, uh, just make these. Uh, I think that'll make it. Well, actually, those were vertical. I meant to click the collinear. There we are, collinear. Want those to line up. And then I think I can't use parallel, so I may actually have to make a dimension here. So if we dimension you and you. 137 so we probably want that to be the same I think it depends on which side I click it on it might give me the wrong there we go and let's just make that the same come on oh I have this open ha all right 137 okay boom all right um and then let's see how big is this Anyway, so uh, let's see. This is uh, like 900. This is like 100, what, 20 feet almost. So let's just make it an even 120 feet. And then because it's the first like linear dimension, it's going to ask me to scale it and say yes because I don't want anything to like mess up. There we go. So this is a, this is a nice big big area, right? So I'll finish that one. And now, uh, normally in other like CAD programs, you probably just have like have to extrude this and then shell it and blah 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 blah. You know the process. Um, and this one you don't really have to do that. And, and that's the nice thing about this BIM design. And now, now I can just come over here to wall and just say, well, I'm gonna put some walls in. So I think I can actually hit infer in this one and just pick the whole thing and bam, I have all the walls already put in. And I'm just going to hit OK here because this basically goes, takes the bottom floor and just makes a wall up to the second floor. And I do want floor. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. I put our floor in, make sure it's on level one. Because if I go level two, it's going to put it up above here. But um, I don't want to do that. Uh, I think I'll do floor two because it's a little thicker. You can also offset it and stuff. So if you need like a thick cement floor, you can you know, push it down and whatnot. But for now, I'm just gonna do that. Cool, so I have the interior now. 
Um, and then now we gotta like pick out rooms and stuff, so and figure out where the doors and everything are gonna be. But um, for the most part, this is pretty simple stuff. So I can actually do another sketch on that level. Uh, it's trying to pick level two. I don't want level two actually. I may have to actually go in and edit the sketch, but because I picked uh, the inferred thing, let's see here. Oh, I can just unselect, I think. But if it'll let me, I don't think it will. Let me see. Um, let's see if I can deselect. Nah, I think it wants me to pick the, uh, yeah, it keeps wanting to go to the second plane, I think. I can't quite tell. Actually, I think I am on level one still. So I'm gonna hit okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then uh, we're gonna jam out some uh, rooms real quick. So uh, let's just do my profile real quick. So I would say like, um, oh yeah, and I'm gonna have to include some stuff here. So let's just include like this area, just reference. Um, I think they, they added this include thing to the new sketcher just so uh, it helps keep things from breaking because um, before you could just willy-nilly you know tie references to you know other assembly components and other things in your sketch and those things get changed and it breaks the sketch and I've seen files get completely corrupted where you can't open them anymore so I think this was their solution was like you make a reference here so if the reference breaks the curve is still in here as a reference and it's not going to corrupt the file which is a nice thing um okay so i know this will probably be a whole separate room this is like the entryway here i'm going to say it's probably like a, a closet like a to put you know cloak coats and whatnot and maybe there's a window on the side and then uh over here i would say maybe there could be a staircase if we're going up maybe right there so let's make like a, a little partition area here so I would say maybe part of this would be a kitchen. Um, so maybe half of this is kitchen, half of this is dining room. So I'm going to go over here and just kind of do that. And then I'll fix those constraints in a second. And then we'll probably have, well, actually I should do that now. Uh, let's fix that real quick. All right. And then separate this out right here because uh, this will probably be like another main hall or living room or whatever and then you got the den over here we gotta have bathrooms probably put all the bedrooms upstairs but we'll probably want a bathroom downstairs so we have to figure out like uh, if we do like this is like a main hallway here and we could have a really nice big bathroom right here with like I don't know one side could be like the laundry room and the other side could be the bathroom and we'll just have like this walk-in pantry area or something i don't know okay let me fix those lines real quick boop and boop wait 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 apply yeah there we go and i could get in here and measure all this stuff and get it all nice but i just want to get through this really quick Okay, and then we have like a, a garage, and then maybe back here in the garage is like another like weird storage area somewhere there. Who knows? So let's just uh, fix that right there. Boom. Okay. So there's uh, there's like our main like partitions. I don't think that line's straight actually. Let me fix that. There we go. So I'm just going to hit finish. And we're going to add some more walls. <clears throat> so we'll just say uh, these are going to be our actually well I mean I probably could just do this there we go so that's adding walls to the existing building now and good and so we got like this this whole you know area here and now um, the next thing we want to do is like uh, we're gonna have doors and stuff so uh, if I go over here to this reuse library uh, there is some of this stuff built into the BIM system so this makes like short work of adding doors and windows and whatnot so um, I'm gonna add the front door over here on this wall and um, 
Yeah, okay. Let's get that. Arm. Make it a little wider. I like the big door. And I'm going to just go probably by moving it for now. All right, we'll just move it down to about, I think we're right above our sketch area for the door. Hit OK. All right, and we could constrain all that and whatnot and doll this up, but I, I just kind of want to get it like a basic geometry in there and start like, you know, throwing stuff in here. So, and then we could go to like Windows real quick and we'll just slap window on some of this. So I guess we'll do these windows right here. We can slap that on and then we can change the size here. So maybe they got a nice thousand by thousand windows. I'll put that on there. I think that's thick enough. Yeah, looks like it. So we'll hit okay. Um, like that. There we go. And I think that looks all right. I'm gonna pull this back a little bit over here. Like so. And then uh, I think you can do an assembly pattern component on this. Uh, let me see, or does it let me? I think, because it does have an assembly structure, but oh, it's a sub-assembly, so I don't think I can do that through here. Okay. Uh, where, how do I get back? There it is. Okay. Let's get a few more things in here real quick. Um, we're probably going to want a closet door here. So we'll just go back in to doors. And throw a door there. And what's nice is when I put it on the inside, it automatically snaps to the, the ground floor. So I don't have to mess with that. Alright. Yeah, and this is fine. So I'll just close that. Okay. So we got a door to go into this area. And I realize this place is huge. <laughs> now that I'm putting doors in, I'm like, oh my god, this is like a warehouse. Okay. <laughs> this is not a home. This is a warehouse. Okay, that's okay. That'll be fun to put in the, in the game and, and run around inside of it. So maybe I could slap in a couple more. Maybe they got the bigger windows. I don't know if these get bigger. Maybe this one's bigger? Let's see. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, they only go to a thousand. Might be able to make it bigger. It says it's unlockable. Let's make the height like uh, 1500. Ah, there we go. And we'll move it. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's move it up to here. There we are. Like so. <sighs> All right, and then there. Ah, and I have to redo this over and over. Um, what did I say? 50. Oh, it resets all of them. Look at that. It's oh, it's because it's a reference. Oh, well, I wonder why it reset that. Huh? It's probably a, another order of operation. You should probably do this at. So I'm not like goofing it. All right. Let's put a couple windows there. All right. Let me slap a door over there. Maybe I want a double door over here. There we go. Just slap that in. We want to get in over there. Sure, that's fine. And okay, now let's let's put a door here so we can get in. Now we could. Well, that kind of came in weird. Um, yeah, let's just move that down. Anyway, the idea is we're going to make a fast building because I've tried to do this in other programs and just doing it even in an X, just regular CAD and I would still be working on extruding and stuff like that right now and I wouldn't even be at the doors yet um let's throw another door right here so we can get in there and he keeps going up there for some reason uh there is supposed to be a way to oh here it is pattern add multiple add ah, I should have did that so that's how you do the multiple windows you have to do it through this one that's right all right, but I only need one door on here, so All right, let's grab you, throw you down. Okay, there we go, like that. And let's put another massive bathroom door. So this is this is you, you could put a whole pool in your bathroom on this one. So I guess I had misthought when I was 
making the building size taking square feet but just full length feet is a lot different okay there we go put one there yeah how, usually the doors come right in on the right level so that's kind of weird that they're going up in the air like this I don't know why it's coming in that way but you can do a con add by constraint but you still got to go in through and pick everything okay I'm just gonna move it down I just want to jam through this real quick because you know when you're first initially building this you know you can go through and make it super precise as you go but it just gets kind of like difficult to visualize what you're working with so a lot of times I, I go in and do the rough pass and then I go back in and tighten up all the dimensions and then once I'm satisfied with the layout then I start going and adding like the moldings and the different little like corner things and the little columns and whatnots in here really start dolling it up and making it look nice now they might have a garage door so they have this other uh, Cadenas BIM library built into NX which is really cool and this actually pulls from a database online um, and this is actually built into NX. I think you have to do a little bit of, uh, your IT might have to do a little bit of magic to kind of pull in this uh, in the user directories and get it set up. But I mean, all the stuff's there in NX. You just have to set up and point to where all the things are. But um, they got like all these different vendors of like housing and stuff. And uh, I don't know which one makes garage doors. Let me just see. I could just Google it really quick see garage door and see if I can find a, a brand on here that sells those uh, let's see I'll just go to Home Depot what does Home Depot got uh, let's see uh, well, yeah let's see if they uh, let's look let's look maybe they're in the one called coachman maybe they're on here let's see probably not I don't know no let's try a different brand See, I don't know what I, I think these are all they're just the manufacturers that uh, have signed up with this Cadenas library so there's a lot that haven't but they really should <laughs> you know if they want their stuff to be seen by the engineers and used in development um, they're missing out so uh, let's see I'm looking for some other brands and this is just the stuff at Home Depot there's other out there I'm just trying to see if I can find one that might show up on that Cadenas because I don't want to have to look through all these company names to figure out and I feel like maybe there should be a search that would help this better, but um, yeah, let's see here. Boy, this is confusing. I can't, I'm in the C still, the C category. Wait, hold on. Uh, let's go page five. Uh, it looks like Home Depot only carries like two brands. Crazy. Um, well, let's see if the other one's in there. Oh, no, I was just, all right, let's not go to Home Depot and just do a general Google search and see if, uh, oh my gosh, let's see, garage doors, <laughs> maybe I should go to McMaster and see if they got on there, ah. um, let's see, Ch -ch 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 -ch. buy, buy a garage door, where do I buy one, let's go to shopping on Google, hmm, what categories do we got here? Mark Fosco. What is the manufacturer name? That's the problem. And, uh, Franklin? Let's see, is Franklin on here? Let's look in Franklin. I see Frank. <laughs> I don't think that's the same one. Yeah, this is Valves. The Funkin. Okay. Okay, come on, people. There's got to be one in here. Almar. Uh, that's a barn door, but at this point, I don't even care if it's on here. I'm just gonna go for it. Amar, Armar, what is it? Um, no. Uh, come on, there's gotta be one in here. <laughs> I'm not familiar with garage doors very much, so I don't buy them. So if I knew, I would just pick it, but oh, this is taking so long. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. 203 crap it's so vague names they don't have the names on here um let's see let me see what this one is this is by which company uh -huh. nothing or are they just 
Oh, they're just selling a door, but not paying what buy. Oh, lovely. Oh my God, garage door vendors? I, I don't know. I'm trying to see. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. anybody got a brand name? Oh my God, come on. The modern garage door. Who that? Who makes this? Nikki's garage doors? No, I'm pretty sure that is not on there. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try something else. Um, yeah, I, I guess. Oh, wait, here's. Oh, brands. You know what? I don't know why I didn't type that. Garage door brands. Let's do that. Garage door brands and see what's available. Oh, all right. Brands. Ah, here we go. Amar, CHI. Let me move this to another screen so I can just kind of compare as they look. Uh, any of these guys in here? Come on. Delden. Uh, wait, I think I saw. What was that one? Copeland, Delden, Copley, Haas. I'm pretty sure they got to have one of these guys in here. Haas, Hansa. No. Foreman. Maybe they're in there. Hosh. No. Oka, Lipmaster, Craftman, Genie, any of them? That's why we gotta get these companies to sign up, man. <laughs> Event, Garador. I don't see any of these companies in here. This is crazy. Um, hmm. She's got BIM design equipment. And this, but these are only the people that it signed, that the companies that signed into the, yeah, too bad Philip didn't have one signed up to the Cardenas thing so I guess trying to get a lot of these manufacturers on board is the real issue here would be nice if I had a garage or I mean I let me let me try searching let's see garage I probably should just did this in the, from the beginning or anything anything nothing no nah, let me just take out door I don't know how well the search works on this I feel like I'm not seeing anything. Like, what is it? Oh, it's stuck. Hold on. Um, yeah, I don't know if this works for this because it only loads it as I click it. Otherwise, they're blank. That's why I kind of need to know the the name of it. I guess I could just kind of open these up and see what categories are in there and see if I can find one. This might take a moment. Good lord. Come on. Oh my gosh. Somebody's got to have a door for me. Oh my gosh. Enclosures? Okay, this is all electrical stuff. Okay, Malimo. Ah, see, if I was on a stream right now, somebody would probably be shouting out at me like, Oh, go to that one. They got doors. <laughs> I don't have one here. So I'm just going to start clicking and see if I can find something. I just need a door. <laughs> There's no doors. Uh, um, no nope. faucets, washroom accessories. Well, that's nice. Well, there's a faucet, but then not the. I mean, if I see some other stuff, maybe I'll just drag it in because we need to fill out some of the stuff in here. Uh, oh, what's that? What is that? That's a. That's a. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Complatrolling. No, I don't even know. <laughs> It looks like it could be a sliding door of some kind, but... Oh, uh, what is that? Voltor? Card hmm. Brasselman. No. Oh, solar system. That's cool. Um, for the roof. But I I'm not even at the roof level yet, so... Shoot. Oh, my gosh. So this is uh, not... This is, this is slowing me down because I don't know the brand names. I mean, I could just make my... Normally, the idea is you would make a lot of your own parts and stick them in this library. And then, uh, I mean, they have some stuff in here, but they don't have, like, as far as doors go. You know, I, I might... This is taking so long. I'm just going to kind of skip this garage door thing. I wanted to put one in there, but honestly, it's taking too long. So, we're just going to skip right past that. I wanted to, but darn it. Bathroom modules. Oh, look at that. I got a bathroom shower. Maybe I could just throw it in here in the corner. So here we go. Um, left, uh, I guess right here um, against this wall. Let's throw a bathroom module. In. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it needs to go on the floor. Ah, I did it wrong. Okay, so I guess I guess you put this one on the floor. That's the 
Whoa, wait a minute. This is for an RV. What? <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny to put it in there anyway. Um, just so we could see it. You know, I'm just going to put it in anyway. Um, this is not... <laughs> this is definitely an RV um, bathroom module, but it's okay. I'm just going to stick it in here. All right. You're going to have a weird bathroom module that doesn't even go up to the ceiling. <laughs> and let's put a stool in here and then we're just going to watch somebody use the bathroom on the stool. <laughs> There we go. By the door. <laughs> We're not going to make any sense. All right. Uh, oh, we got some nice helmet office stuff. So, oh, well, here we go. So let's go over here to this living room. Uh, by the window, we'll put a nice corner bench. What? Oh, don't like. Oh, I still have this window open. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, I don't need to move it. It's fine. I don't know. I forgot to close that. Uh, okay, so we want... I, guess, I assume we picked a floor for this. Ah, nice. Ooh, positioning move. Okay, so... Uh, okay, let's just hit OK and move that. Uh, I should probably rotate it by 90. And we'll just put a kitty corner over here. Boop. There we go. All right, we have a couch, and then uh, we want a milk dispenser on the couch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, do they have a, that's a mess table. They got a coffee table in there? That'd be cool. Oh, TV rack. Well, where would they be watching that? Okay, right, let's throw the TV rack. I don't know if you throw, I think you throw it on the wall. Let's find out. Nope, it goes on the floor. Okay, it's hard to tell sometimes. All right, let's move that in. Then we can put the TV on there. So I, I saw a TV. Let's just throw you there. Boom. And then where's that TV? There's the TV. We want the 50 inch. I don't even know if that'll fit on there. Let's just put the 42 inch on there. All right, there we go. Yeah, we'll just move it forward a little bit. Okay, move that forward right there. There we go, boom. So we're just designing a little house. I'm not gonna go too hog wild on this. Um. Oh, there's a nightstand. We can put that over there. Whoop. Over here, real quick, by the by the uh, couch, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it didn't like that. Some of these are read only, so I think I have to move the set the library to download these to a write or read write folder. I think they're going to one that I don't have permission to write in or something. Okay. Um, we're good with hospital. That's all I got for bathroom modules. Yeah, that. What's eCorns? City. Oh, look at this. City life. City life stuff. City building system. Oh. Well, it's just uh, just couches. Well, that's just morning. Like I said, they, they, a lot of this design stuff is going to be your own equipment that you're probably going to design if you're doing these or you can pull from the uh, vast online library of some 500,000 thing oh look a cable box hey there we go whoa that's a wild looking cable box that's something else <laughs> all right I was hoping to find that but I don't think I'm gonna okay so I think oh it's still trying to load something Hold on. Yeah, it, it does hang a little bit because this has this is pulling from an online library, so it, it's gonna definitely hang the system up. Please don't crash on me. Oh my god, that would be the worst. Oh, oh boy, whatever I clicked on, it is just stuck on. Whoop! Hello, come back. There we are. Okay. Um, just to not get. Uh, just to not cry. I'm just gonna save that real quick. There, let's do that real fast. And save my levels. There we go. Yeah, see, the, some of the stuff I put in, I don't have right access, but it's okay when I export the level to Unity to run around and it shouldn't matter. All right, I wanna throw in a few more windows though before I move to the next level. So let's just slap this on. I wish it didn't reset to the small size. 
I wonder if it's because I'm putting in a custom value, maybe. I don't know. Hard to say for sure. So I'll probably just put a couple more. Or I'll just put that one for now. And let's move on to the next step because, like, uh, I don't want this video to go on forever. And I'm sure you don't want to sit here forever watching me screw up. So, <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, we already did floor, we already did wall. So, I'm just going to th throw on a ceiling real quick. Um, it's going to be on level two. Um, and then I'm basically just picking, you know, the exterior of this, I think, or probably might be best to pick the interior curves. Um, but I, th oops, I don't actually need that one. I just want the exterior. So we're going to make a little upstairs and then maybe put in some stairs so I can go upstairs. Maybe. Uh, okay. There we are. And I feel like I'm missing a curve or something. Um, structure level two. And I'm missing something here. I don't know what it is. It must be a curve because I'm not getting a, a proper full curve. It must be up somewhere. That to that to that. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. There it is. There it is. And no offset. What am I missing? I don't need this. Okay. Is it not a broken curve? Connected curves. I'm not missing a section, so what's the issue here? Um. Okay. Nah, it's not doing anything. Huh. Scene file 2. It's not working. Don't need the offset. Trim. Trim to boundary. Do I need to pick the interior one? No. Hold on. There's something up here. What the heck? That, 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 that. As far as I can tell, <clears throat> maybe I can just get away with going ceiling and then picking my first curve, perhaps? No? Wait, where is my uh, BIM? Oh, here it is. Um, plan? Is that? Let me try infer curve. Just you. Okay, that works. And then I hit level two, and that should bump it up to the ceiling. And hit OK, and that should cut out the necessary. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now, now I've got it inside. And if I loop just right, I can see the ceiling. Okay. Cool. That seemed to work. All right, so now I have an upstairs, um, and I might want stairs going up. Um, so I think I can hide the ceiling maybe. Let me see, how do you hide the ceiling? There it is. Okay, so I, I do want to put those stairs in, and I think that was just right here. So uh, I think we just want a single stair run, and we want to put it somewhere, maybe right here, like this. All right, just so I can get upstairs. Oh, look at that. It actually just tried to just throw it right in. That, that didn't even go up to the second level, so. All right, um, we need to go up to, oh my gosh, ladder steps. Is that how many steps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that didn't even go, what, a quarter of the way up? Oh man, I may have to move one of these, unless I just go like, uh, will 32 be enough? Is that too many steps? Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, that looks like about four or five steps too many. Now let me go side view. How many steps too many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps too many. Okay, that's fine. We'll just subtract eight from that. So it's probably going to be, uh, what was that? 20 plus 24, I think. Yeah, I believe. Wait, no, that's not right. That was adding six. Did I? Oh, I think I went too far. It was 26. Anyway. Oh, no. I canceled it. Ah, yeah. Turkey. Okay. You know what? Let me see. Maybe that was okay. No, nah, that's probably fine. That will do.
That will do. I was right. Okay, let's just put this here for now. Okay. Now I have stairs, and I want to just make a little opening for that. So, boop. And I can see my stairs protruding. So there's a little opening thing. Creates openings through various BIM objects. So I want to create an opening through this floor. Uh, oh, I got to create a sketch. So, come on. Ooh, it's going a little bit slow. I don't know what it's doing. It's thinking about it. It's thinking real hard about it. Do I want to let him sketch on the ceiling or not? Well, my, my. <clears throat> um, I think it's doing so. Oh, there we go. Ha ha, I finally, the whoa, where am I? Okay, here we are. So what I want to do is just throw a little rectangle here. Ooh, just to cut out the stairs. There we are. Good. All right, so we want that gonna be our curves and then we wait five million years for the dialogue to come back uh, I think it's just because on this computer I haven't actually opened that command I noticed with the next the first time you open a command it like has to cache some stuff and then after that it usually opens like really fast it's just that this is actually the first time here that I've even run BIM so <laughs> I'm actually surprised half the stuff loaded as quickly as it did oh well of course you didn't where, where where's my sketch Oh, it vanished. What? Okay, I think I have to select a face first. Normally, it leaves the curve. I'm surprised it didn't. Okay, let me do this again. Oh, no, don't you start taking forever again. My goodness. I didn't have this problem before. Last time I got that error, it still left the curve. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that went on the, um, the ground floor. Oh, boy. Hold on. Uh, I've got to wait for this thing to go one sec. So I'm going to have to pause for a second. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, weird. I guess the curve was there. I just couldn't see it for some reason. Okay. So let's try that again. Now I have a face selected. Now, I've done this with windows and doors. I haven't actually done this yet with the ceiling one. I'm not sure. It should work, though. By theory. If it would just load. I thought I removed my sketch because it wasn't selecting at it first. But I think it's just because I didn't have something selected, maybe? So that's not showing my curve. I wonder if I have to go to, like, invisible here. For yeah, where is my curve? That is the darndest thing. I'm almost wondering if I have to actually like create the sketch first because it, it's like I finished the sketch, but then it just like kind of, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, a long vector. Does that work? No? Penetration depth, a lot. <laughs> 24 feet, I don't know. <laughs> that cuts it out. But then it's gonna go through my ceiling so I'm just gonna say 13 feet from the floor, but I'm worried that's gonna like cut out my floor too. Um, I think it. No, it didn't. Good. Okay, so there we go. It's I cut out a little section for my stairs, and I'm sure there was probably a better way. To, I think what I needed to do was actually create a new plan on the second level. That's the idea, and then do it. And I was just like trying to do it on the first level. And then go through the ceiling so that was probably not the right workflow <laughs> shame on me um okay let's just slap a roof on this and then get that sucker over because i don't want to make this video go on forever so we're gonna hit roof that's the next step and uh it's wanting to know my footprint and i'm just gonna select my inferred initial curve where is it uh here we are this one and then it makes a nice roof which looks like a tent right now because i think it's putting it on level one ah we want that on level two. Yes, thank you. So now we have a nice roof on level two. And you can put it in, you know, offset distance and whatnot. There's different roof styles. I think I'm going to do this one because I think the other one is solid um, or something. I could be mistaken, but I, I think it's, I don't know. It looks different for some reason. I'm not sure why. 
Um, and I'm going to hit OK. All right. There we go. So now I have this like crazy, huge, massive building um, that I want to bring into a game engine and just run around in, you know, just for, you know, and this, e even if you're not making games, it's still cool that you can export as an OBJ and get that in there. And then you can showcase it to like, you know, you're, you're in a design review or something. And it's great to just be able to walk through it instead of just, you know, in the CAD program looking at it. Uh, so, I mean, one, one last thing I could probably do, and I don't know if these necessarily come through, um, but I think what I need to do is probably colorize some of this stuff. Uh, I think they're all separate components so it sh or separate models, so I think it should be like, it, it won't be united as one thing. So maybe I can just get away with exporting it. So let's try this. Let's go, uh, all right. So let me, actually, let me save first, just in case something goes able, you know, crazy on me. Let's save the ceiling and all that. Almost there. <laughs> Yes, I know, no right access, but let's just go uh, export, and then we're going to go to OBJ. I'm so glad they added that file format. <laughs> Almost there. Just got to wait for the dialogue. Okay, here we go. So, um, we're just going to do the faceted geometry type, and then we're going to um, do uh, the, I'm going to do all the selected objects here. Let's just go solid bodies. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably fine. All right, make sure I got all the windows and doors and whatnots. Um, I think I'm gonna do inches so it comes in correctly on the engine side. And then we're gonna put it in somewhere. I have a spot for it, one second. Let's just stick it in our nice shared folder here. All right, uh, b -b 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 BIM, BIM stuff. Let's just stick it here. <clears throat> yes. Coordinate system, absolute. I think it's fine. Okay, everything looks good. We're gonna hit okay. And cross our fingers that this doesn't explode. But I think it should be fine. Cause it looks like it's saving it to temporary files anyway, where it should have right access. Okay. I think it's almost done. And then we're gonna go bring that over and open up Unity. Uh, actually, I think I have Unity here, but it's, one sec. Let me fix this. Um, this, no, uh, where is it? Uh, this one. As soon as I get it open, why is that so tiny? Uh, I think I have to go like this. Let me hide that one and go, I need to capture a window, not a game window. Let's see, window capture, unity, window. Give me a moment. Ah, there we are. <clears throat> this one. So I have like a town already kind of in there. Oh, it's going over my face. Hold on. Let me fix this order of this thing. There we go. Ha. I'll bring that down a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's nice. All right, so this looks like it finished. Let me see if I can bring it in. Let me lock that real quick. Um, bum, 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 bum. All right, let me go fetch it real quick. Uh, so we're gonna go into our little folder where we exported it. So this was like a, a little FPS asset that I found on the asset store. It just had some default buildings in there and, and a first person controller so you could walk around. Uh, I, it looks kind of like a horror one a little bit because it's very like decrepit abandoned looking buildings. And yeah, all my folders just crashed on me. Hold on. I don't know what it's doing. Nearly there. Projects. Let me just get to that directory real quick and then copy over the file db shared projects 2023 there we are and then we'll go into our uh bim folder where did i put that there it is and look for that object file and where are you obj there we are um and i'm gonna grab the material file too because i think if you texture it 
um, you can at least have the texture definition there. Okay, I'm gonna just make a, I guess I'll just drag it right into the thing here. Let's see if this works. Crossing fingers, it's, it's loading right now. Okay, there it is. I see it in a little preview box down here. Uh, you can't see it because my VTuber's in the way. So let me find a nice little spot on the map here and just drop it in. All right, let me bring it in. Oh, Lordy, that's big. Mother of pearl, that is a massive map. So this, I think when I chose inches, um, there's a unit conflict here. So I'm just gonna resize this. I think it is much too big. I don't know what, I think, I think games usually use like a metric system, like uh, one cube or one unit is actually one meter. So I should actually set it to 0 0.254, I believe, or is it zero, zero, maybe it's zero, zero. Yeah, oh, here we are. I think that's what it was. And that should actually scale it to the proper size. Oh yeah, look how big that building is. Okay, let's get this thing rotated along the X by 90, whoops, wrong 90, that way. Ugh, there's some weird blending on the roof. So uh, you can fix that by going into the <coughs> the file that I dragged in. And there's some uh, properties up here in the model. And then my head's in the way, so that's lovely. Um, <laughs> here, let me move, the, let me pop the inspector out here. Uh, oh, you can't see it if I pop it out, look at that. So let me put it on this side. There we go. I'll put it over here since my big dragon head's in the way. Um, Okay, so there is a convert unit thing that was on, but now if I change it, it's going to blow up, so I'm not going to do it. Um, but basically, the smooth roof, I don't like that, um, especially for architecture. So I think right here where you go to, um, let's see, the smoothness, we want no smoothness. There we go. Now the nice, nice sharp angled roof, and it looks much better. Okay. So there's our building, and I'm gonna stick this back on this side for a second. All right, and I wanna rotate this thing around. So we wanna rotate that around the, see I'm always used to X being up, or Z being up, but it's it's Y on this, so. Um, we'll just do a full 180. So it's facing this way, and that is freaking huge. Very, very big. But the door looks the right size, so just we made a giant build, or I made a giant building because I didn't know what I was doing. I was thinking in square feet, not feet, and that's what happened. So, all right, let's put that there. If I zoom in real quick, in that little door, <laughs> maybe that is kind of small. I don't know. So that's how big that is, and maybe I didn't scale it right because it went to centimeters. Oh wait, no. No, there we go. I gotta bring this up a little bit. Oh great, we got grass coming through the inside. <laughs> Maybe we should move it back when there's no grass. So it doesn't look so weird. Yeah, let's go back here. Right there. There we go. That's better. Um and then I'm gonna move this down just a hair. Like so. Okay. So is this all one giant mesh? fused together okay so there is materials here they aren't set right now but I believe I can change them right here so these have materials here I can slap on but they're not regular textures uh, so I can slap something on here let's see oh gosh it colored the whole thing what was that Ah, I see it uses the same for the roof and the outside. So that's what I was kind of talking about, is that there's also a UV mapping thing inside of NX, and that's another thing that'll probably have to happen um, before you export, is that right now you can't see the texture because there's like literally no UV mapping, but um, it's very dark inside this house. And I can kind of fly through it right now, um, but first, maybe we should add a light in here. So create a light, give me a point light. That's, where are you? You're way over there. Why are you way over there? Come here, 
want you here in this room so I can see stuff sort of ah there we go ah oop, I went down too far oopsie where's my light okay so now I've kind of got a light in here it's kind of not so visible there we go nice okay soft shadows there we are all right so there's one light and that yeah it's already looking creepy in here because you get this big shadow going in there and it wait a minute did i forget to put a door going into the next area oh i did silly me <laughs> that's okay i don't have a collider on it right now so um i think what i'll do is i'll duplicate this move it over duplicate and see if i re-export this file over this one here it should update in the engine so that um i can walk through that because i did forget to put a dang door there silly me oh my gosh look how creepy this place is so this is when you're gonna have to really get in there and doll the place up with the right lighting if you had furniture and like lamps and stuff you're gonna want to put them all there and in the in the engine here and, and get it to look nice but i mean look i mean this is great you can you can make the architecture in nx pretty quickly with their new bim i don't know how new it is actually but um with their bim technology and then yeah so oh here we go maybe i should just have my little dude start out up <clears throat> in the house over here so i don't have to try to walk through from the outside uh let's put a light upstairs in the attic uh, duplicate just to make that extra horror style. <laughs> it can make it green or dark or something just to really make it really spooky. Um, yeah, and, and then do this in VR and then jump scare everyone when you go to bring them in. That's the great thing about it. <laughs> you have one of your friends hiding up here, so you're doing a tour and you virtually jump scare them as they come up the stairs. That'll be the day. Now that's a design review if I ever heard one. Oh my God, could you imagine? <laughs> I love it. It scared me half to death. I want to build that place now. <laughs> uh, that would be my reaction anyway. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, I just unselected it. Oops. Let's just bring it back this way a little bit. Get a little more light over here. I wanted to see that weird bathroom room. Did I never make a door to that too? Oh, I'd be so mad if I didn't. What? Oh, where did I put it? I think I did forget. I think it was right on the other side of this wall. No? Where's that bathroom? Now I'm lost in this place. Oh, I know where I am. This is the closet. It's over here. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I went too far. So you go down here. It, oh, I need a light in this hallway. I can't see nothing. Oh, gosh. It's so creepy with the like, just a little bit of light peeking through. Okay, there we go. Aha! Here's the door. That's the door. The scary door. <laughs> I guess there is a light. there is a door in there, so I can't go see the bathroom. <laughs> and what I'll do is I just put the light inside the mini bathroom, so it's just peeking out of the of the uh, the little bathroom stall <laughs> like a horror scene. <laughs> oh my god! Let's see if I can get that in there just right. Hold on, that'd be funny. Here we go. Yeah, just the bathroom light like that. Oh my God, now yeah, that's not creepy or anything. Jesus. Oh man. Okay, let's see if I can drop myself into this room. Uh, I guess I'll have to go where? Um, I have to find out where the, the starting person starts at. So FPS controller is over there. So yeah, unfortunately I can only walk in here. But then that's it. So I'm gonna drop myself in this room. So, uh, cause I forgot to put the door <laughs> that connects the two rooms. Oh, come on. How far over is that? Oh, geez, okay. There we are. I think that should put me inside. Now, I think I'm just gonna end up clipping through stuff cause I didn't set a collider up. So that's another thing, but it's relatively easy to do. Um, I think I probably need to do it on I don't know if you do it maybe at the top level let's do that let's just do uh, i think you just type you add a new component you just type collider and then you're just gonna go to mesh collider 
and then we want to pick the uh, the mesh of this building so I think I just slapped the oh my gosh isn't that what I do oh, there it is okay see yeah and then now I have this like really weird green overlay so this is telling me that uh, this is the uh, mesh I cannot um, walk through that stuff so I think if I turn on the game let me make sure I got this right okay there we are. Let me just make sure I'm here all right let's try this so let me hit play there we are now you see it okay now it looks like I'm playing a horror game nice I should be able to walk through this door ah there we go yes and I don't think these windows are transparent because I didn't put the material on them, so but my camera's clipping through the wall. Um, I can try to go up these stairs. Oh my gosh, I went up the stairs. Look at that. That's where you have your buddy up here jump scaring people. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, I could still bring in the, the model into, uh, into the Unity game engine from NX and, you know, make pretty quick geometry. And that's kind of helpful for game development. If we had like some tools like that, um, maybe one day NX will have like a, like a, I don't know, some kind of package for development of that sort that's a little more um, affordable for that. So, but you know, even still, this is great for any any kind of object. Really, it doesn't even have to be like the <clears throat> architecture stuff. It could be any model, really. And you can just put it into this program and check it out. Um, yeah, and that's what I love about the OBJ export. Like that was a godsend from from Siemens, adding that functionality in. Oh look, here's my TV and couch area, <laughs> way over here. <laughs> Gosh dang, that's really far away. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize how big it was until I started putting furniture in. I was like, oh my gosh. So there you have it, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, so if you know you're interested in the BIM thing, we do training, uh, uh, rendering stuff like this, uh, rendering in NX. We also do you know walkthrough apps, stuff like that. So we do all kinds of stuff. You can uh, check out our website and uh, you know request training or project or whatever. Um, and then you know for more cool videos like this and tutorials and little tricks we do all the time. Uh, just yeah, give us a like and subscribe and yeah, check us out. We got all kinds of cool things we're doing Anyways, uh, it's been great. <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining me on this little ride and adventure through uh, Going from BIM to uh, game engine. I just wanted to uh, kind of talk about that. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye